told him you never know. You never knew. And we have a we have a really deep fear of death. That's why this the COVID situation has been so destructive. And so we've been so easily manipulated into things like lockdowns and masks because people are really terrified of dying. Right. You know? Right. Meanwhile, it's like, well, people have been sick, getting sick forever. Mm -hmm. And germs and bacteria and viruses, we've lived alongside these things for bill for since yeah. the beginning of time. You yeah. know. And say what you want. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I'm I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole because I've spent a lot of time there and it's a dark place for me. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, like, we need to get on with life. Life is yeah. meant to be lived, you know? And I think it's an issue when governments overstep boundaries of starting to restrict human freedoms, you know? Um, but these molecules give us a fucking direct experience of that. Yeah. And they release us from fear. That's a common, you know? that's a common, um, you know, ending point or end point for it seems for a lot of people who have those experiences and either do ayahuasca. You did ayahuasca, yeah. correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah. People who have these these experiences, it's pretty common that they come out and they're like, I'm not really scared. I'm not scared of death anymore. Yeah. Know? Which yeah. is crazy. Yeah. It's, it's as you said, it's kind of ingrained in us. Yeah. Everyone. It, it says a lot about the human psyche, though. Uh huh. Because, oh yeah. Because well, that's the we're ego too. Of, we're t we're t anything we do, we're scared of uncertainty. Yeah. The yeah. unknowing. Yeah. We like to know and control. Yeah. And have comfort and yeah. You know, there's none of that when you don't know. Yeah. And well, yeah. And to your point, you know, it's scary to think that it all ends one day. Yeah. You know, and if you're really trapped in your identity of anything. Oh, yeah. Yep. If you're really tied to and attached to your identity in your job or whatever it is, like we talked about that the other day with some ex NFL guys in particular that I've absolutely I've witnessed who are so attached to their identity, it's like you're literally killing yourself over it. Right. But here's the thing: a lot of people are afraid of dying and they're not even living. When you really start living. You don't care when you're going to die. Yeah. You know? You don't it's care. Great. It's a great point. You're like, fuck it, man. Yeah. Maybe it'll happen today. Yeah, for anyone listening. Like, you know? It's, a, it's not, it's just. Seriously, it's a lot of value in that. For anyone listening, like, you could, it's pretty, I mean, I think most changes or any growth that happens it just starts when you, you shine the awareness back on yourself. Yeah. Take inventory. Are you, are you living? Yeah. You know, are, are you existing? Are you, are you really living? Are you surviving and. Existing, what's your lens on it all? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really cool. You ready?